In your house today, we're talking about the sort of awkward topic of herpes and actually a potential vaccine. Joining us to talk about it is Dr. Sabrina Favi. Dr. Favi, this is not a laughing matter. I know. Obviously, as you know, but herpes is a little bit awkward to talk about on television. So tell me what we're talking about here, like with cold sores? I mean, I know, right? Everyone is uncomfortable talking about it, but yet 60% of the U.S. population is positive for HSB1 or herpes virus type 1, which is responsible for cold sores. And one in six Americans actually is positive for HSV2, which can also be responsible for cold sores, but also genital herpes. All right, so I think what's really interesting, we've had this conversation before uh, with herpes, but is this potential vaccine, it's called Gen 003, am I pronouncing that right? Right, and so this is its first of its kind because the vaccine is intended to decrease viral shedding. The problem with herpes is that once you have it, you have it for life. Even though you don't necessarily demonstrate a fever blister or a cold sore, or in the case of genital herpes, a lesion or some type of ulceration, you still have the virus and you could be shedding, that's the problem and not even know it and be transmitting it to any sexual partners, but more importantly, to babies. And so one in 3,000 live births in the United States actually end up getting herpes. And this is a serious problem because in a neonate or infant, it can actually cause real serious complications, including problems with the brain. Wow, that's fascinating. Okay, so talk to me about this vaccine. Is it in the human clinical phase? Are we close to seeing it on the market? And who is it safe for? Right, and so right now, it's just intended for those that have or are positive for the type 2 HSV or herpes simplex virus and so those that have genital herpes. The promise here is that if they've already formulated something that can potentially be against HSV2 that we can maybe one day see hope for having a vaccine that can target HSV1 or the virus responsible for cold sores because many people are so self-conscious to have these fever blisters. I, as a dermatologist I get patients that come in all the time ready for a wedding and the last thing they want to do is have this cold sore that's going to ruin all their pictures and so if you have a vaccine that could potentially prevent that, wouldn't that be wonderful? Yeah, that would be awesome, though I don't ever want to take business away from you, obviously as a dermatologist, but that would be such a huge thing in this market. Dr. Fabi, always great to have you. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me, Jen.